What is up YouTube? Remington James here and I don't know what's going on this week but we have two recipe videos in one week. That is crazy. So this recipe is going to be strictly for bulking. Well I don't want to say strictly for bulking but I don't think you want to use this recipe if you're trying to cut at all. This recipe is going to be high in protein, high in carbohydrates and a really good way to get your morning started off on the right foot especially if your goal is to add lean muscle. As most of you might know in order to put on good quality muscle you have to be in a caloric surplus and this breakfast is going to help you do just that. A good mix of complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, high in protein and a good way to start your day. So if you're ready to see exactly how to whip up this peanut butter protein oatmeal, then I'm ready to show you. Let's do it! Okay guys, and for this epic and delicious bulking breakfast, hold on, label out, <laughs> there we go. We are gonna need just a few ingredients. Let me go over these with you real fast. So we're gonna need a sweetener and I'm using stevia. This is my go-to sweetener. You can use sugar if you want, but it's gonna spike those macros up a little bit. And I prefer to use non-sugar sweeteners myself. So stevia is amazing, guys. Go ahead and give this a shot. It's not quite as good as sugar, but I'm telling you, pick this stuff up, guys. Big old bag of this is pretty cheap. You're gonna need one scoop of a whey protein powder. I have this sample pack from the Arnold Still ISO 100 cinnamon bun. Use whatever flavor protein you want. Obviously, that'll shift the flavor of this overall, but it'll still be very good. Now, we're also going to need a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. We're going to need some Hershey's baking cocoa as well. We're also going to need some natural peanut butter. I'm using Jif Natural. We're going to need some oatmeal and a little bit of Greek yogurt. I'm using Oikos Triple Zero. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, I have my bowl here and I have a scale that way we can measure and weigh everything out as we go. First thing I'm going to do is measure out 60 grams of oatmeal and put that in our bowl. Okay, 60 grams. Next up, we need one cup of unsweetened almond milk. Go ahead and measure this out. And now that that's in here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the microwave for two minutes and I'll be right back. All right guys, we just pulled this out of the microwave and now we need 16 grams of peanut butter to put in here. Making sure I'm weighing this out so the macros are accurate. Boom guys, check that out. That is 16 grams of peanut butter, half a serving. That is 100 calories right there. So for those of you wondering guys, peanut butter is so easy to go over on. So just make sure you're weighing it out. Add this in. Next thing we need is half a container of our Greek yogurt, or this approximates to about 75 grams. So making sure we're weighing it out. There we go. Next up, we're gonna do one tablespoon of our sweetener here. Throw that in. Then we're gonna need one tablespoon of our baking powder. Add that in as well. It's really gonna help with flavor here. And then finally, the last thing you need is one scoop of protein powder. This packet equals one scoop. So whatever protein you have laying around, go ahead and use that. So we'll dump this in here, and there we go. Now that we got all of our ingredients in the bowl, it is time to stir it up. You wanna go in here and make sure you get all these ingredients mixed together because I'm telling you guys, this is gonna come out delicious. Not that I've actually had this exact recipe yet. I did find this recipe online, but I can already tell just from the way it smells, this is gonna be incredible. And here we go, guys. I know this doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> I try to make my other recipe videos as appetizing looking as possible. This one doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and see how this turned out. All right, guys, it is time for my honest taste test review. So as you've seen, this doesn't look like the most appetizing thing in the world, but I think we will be pleasantly surprised. So let me go ahead and give this a try. Get a big old bite here. Let me show you, per usual, what we're working with. There we go. A little creamy, look at that. Okay, I'm only gonna have a couple bites because I am getting ready for vacation right now, so I don't wanna blow my diet up and eat this whole thing. I'm not bulking, but let me go ahead and give her a taste test. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow. Okay, that is really, really, really good. Holy crap. I could definitely eat that every single morning on a bulk. Let's go ahead and do just to make sure we're good. One more bite. Mm. That is excellent, guys. Kind of tastes like hot chocolate a little bit. Really, mm. definitely gets the seal of approval. I don't think it gets the double seal, but it definitely gets the seal of approval. Awesome, awesome recipe here, guys. Uh, amazing for bulking, a good way to start your day out. One recommendation I always give people when they're trying to bulk and put on size, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, eat, eat. A lot of times when I work with clients in a training capacity, when I give them their meal plan, they're like, I really have to eat all this? And I'm like, yes, you do. But it's not difficult to get all that food in when you find recipes like this that taste good that you can lean on instead of just eating your plain staples all the time. So give this a shot, guys, and go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy these videos. And let me go ahead and go over these macros real quick. In this entire recipe, we have 14 grams of fat, we have 46 grams of protein and 54 grams of carbs with a whopping 11 grams of fiber. An awesome way to start your morning, guys. Almost a one-to-one -one ratio protein to carbs. And the fat is only 14 grams, so not bad, not unmanageable. Keeping all your macros in check. And this is really just a good overall meal to start your day with, guys. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this recipe video. Thank you, as always, for watching. I appreciate the support. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, 
Don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you can be making better. With that, I'm out of here. This video brings to Jay's production, and I'll see you guys at the next video. See you guys.